Hi, this is Swanet from Nell Stand for Fun. I hope you guys are having a great day. Today I'm going to show you two more beautiful plates from Bunny Nails. These plates have beautiful designs that can be used throughout the year. And they both start with B U N A. Okay, we have the B U N A A plate and the B plate. And they're beautiful images, very girly, very lovely. And I want to show you guys. Here we have the Bunny Nail A. Okay. Look how beautiful these images are. I haven't removed the blue film yet. I will remove it later when I make um, do the quick swatches for you guys. I really love this image right here because I'm in love with lace patterns, if you didn't know. <laughs> and we have lovely roses. These two patterns um, are how do you say this same but they're different as you can see here we'll be stamping the roses image and here we'll be stamping the background of these roses that is very cool too then we have this beautiful design here on the bottom which has two birds it's very large as you can see there's a lot of different areas you could stamp with and here we have the BUNA plate B Look at the gorgeous images. Have a lot of beautiful flower patterns, geometrical shapes. Here we also see lettering. And right here we also have beautiful lettering with a beautiful uh, message. Very cute. I want to try to make or create, recreate um, the manicures that are called love letters. That's when it looks like an old love letter with this lettering. I don't know. I, I want to try that out because I've seen so many beautiful ladies on Instagram do that manicure. And here we have in the bottom some long images. Very cute too. Very pretty. And let's swatch them up, you guys. I'll be swatching with this beautiful color from Sally Hansen, which is called Lacy Lilac. And for the stamping, I will be using China Glaze Don't Make Me Wine. I think that's the way you call it. Yes, it's, it is. <laughs> this is a beautiful metallic polish to stamp with. And uh, first we have to remove the blue protective film. That's what we're going to do very quickly. So see how easy that is to take it off. Very easy. Okay, now we gently pull it off. Now what I like to do is I take a cotton ball with acetone and I just pass it all over the images just in case anything from the resi residue from the blue protective film is left behind so we want to clean that plate up now let's begin to stamp and the first one I want to stamp is this beautiful lace pattern gently swipe pick up look how beautiful that looks gorgeous right let's place it like that kind of going down very pretty Let's try another one out. Let's try the beautiful roses. Alright, here's the beautiful roses. Let's stamp that on. Look how pretty that looks. Let's stamp this design right here. See how that looks on the nail. It's kind of like a a tweed design I want to say. Look at that. That's cool. Let's place that right here. That one's very different. Then from what I have at least. <laughs> and what else? Let's try the birds right here on my thumb. Look how beautiful that looks. I 
hope you can see that. Very pretty. I have one more. Let's do this pattern right here. That's cool too. How beautiful they stamp. Let's try some on a piece of paper because I want to leave my other hand for the other plate. And I want to try this image right here. These images are quite difficult sometimes because they have a lot of open space. See that? Look how beautiful that stamped. This one also has a lot of space. Let's see if I can stamp that one. Remember, when you have plates that have a lot of open areas, try to swipe lightly, okay? And if that doesn't work, try to swipe lightly, but in another direction, okay? Try different directions. Um, try swiping this way, this way, until you find the right method that is right for you, okay? And it has to be very lightly because if you apply too much pressure, you're gonna remove nail polish from those areas. And of course, you don't want that. Now let's try some of the cute small images right here. See if I can pick up with the stamper. See? They stamp beautifully. And let me go and stamp the B plate now. Now we're going to swatch the B U N A B plates. <laughs> okay, let's try this design right here. Stamp it on my thumb. This beautiful flower pattern. Look how gorgeous that looks. Let's see if I can get at least part of the flower on my nail. Apply this, let's try this one out. Okay, very pretty too. And uh, let's try the lettering, this beautiful letter image. Very pretty too. Okay, I still have one space left. Let's apply this beautiful flower. And now I'm going to continue to stamp on a piece of paper for you guys. I wish I had more fingers. <laughs> Let's apply this. Let's try this one out. Very pretty. This image right here. Beautiful, right? I mean, there's so many beautiful nail designs you can create. Look how beautiful that stamps. That's why I want to make these videos for you guys. That way you can see by yourself that they do indeed stamp. You know, just not take my word for it. Um, so you can see them in action. See how beautiful they stamp. The last one I'm going to try out is this image right here. Look 
how beautiful that image is. They're very lovely, as you can see. Beautiful flower patterns. Great for any time of the year. I hope you guys enjoy this video with these quick swatches. And tell me what do you think about these beautiful plates. All the information about bunny nail stamping plates will be listed down below so you guys can go check it out. I hope you guys have a wonderful day. Please take care and happy stamping. Bye.